Hello world, welcome back from a crazy, crazy weekend. I got like no sleep, just wasn't going to bed on time. And then from that super nice weather, it has decided that it wants to snow and be freezing cold and gross. So super appreciative of that. No, I have to do some cleaning up. I got these from my brother-in-law for my birthday yesterday. Super fun and sweet. Went out to dinner a couple of times. It's just all around a good weekend. But we have, not that we have no food, but we don't have anything for breakfast. So I'm trying to figure that out. I'm also super concerned that our blue apron has gone bad. Because we got it on Wednesday. It's Monday and we didn't have time to do any of them this weekend. So that's going to be maybe a sketchy adventure for today. But I gotta figure out something to eat right now. Getting some pancakes going. I kind of made like a half batch and threw some mashed up banana in. I got some tea going, the dishwasher's going. I got YouTube going on. The morning is happening. Okay, I needed to assemble myself and put on clothes and feel a bit more like a human. Today is just like mall because of the snow, which is just, it's constantly snowing. My friend just said that at his mom's in New York, they have six inches of snow. Like what? It's just crazy. And then another one of my friends posted to Snapchat today, this meme vine video thing. I don't know what to call it. Technology. But it was like, spring confuses me or whatever because it's like hot and then cold and then windy and then freezing and then it's just spring is a mix of emotions and I need to clean I need to clean myself but I assembled instead my hair smells like fire smoke because we have bonfires at work for the crazy people that are outside I appreciate the crazy people thank you to all the crazy people that came out yesterday but, um, so I smell a little bit like a campfire, but I need to clean. I have dinner, like dishes, sitting out from Thursday. It's gross. I know it's gross. And that's why I'm going to clean. And then I think for lunch, I'm going to try and make one of the blue aprons. Like I said, they might be off. They may not be good anymore. So I'm going to investigate and find out. We are going to see if this is still any good it's usually vacuum packed and now there's like some space we're gonna see are making an absolute mess. Uh, these look good. Luckily I haven't clean cleaned the kitchen just yet. Okay, it is time to see if I've poisoned us. Hopefully the fish is still fine. It looks beautiful. Would you just look at it? Oh, I think it looks mighty good. I said though, we'll see. It has been a few hours since lunch not dying, not sick, so that's awesome. And I've now picked out a new chore to do for the day. I have to clean the bathroom floors and the sinks. And I just was, so I did some work online um, and I went to go do like our weekly shop and I wanted to see if I could do it online. But you have to do it four hours in advance so we can't pick it up today. Um, we may not go out at all. It is just now stopped snowing. It snowed from pretty much when I showed you this morning until now. This is what we got going on. April 4th. And it looks like this. And it's freezing. And I'm not a fan. Not a fan at all. Literally on Friday, like three days ago, it was 70 degrees and wonderful out and gorgeous and beautiful and now well that took no time at all per usual it's I kind of really like using my little popsicle sticks that I found from Pinterest because 
it's one task it's not this big daunting thing and it's done you know within at most half an hour if you dilly dally so all three bathroom floors and sinks have been cleaned and then i even took my little shark steam mop bob jobber thing and steamed the kitchen floor because it needed it as well and i've been feeling kind of like blah today obviously because of the weather and just I haven't done anything physical, so I think I'm going to do my Monday workout now when I don't know what else I want to do. don't want to do the laundry right now. I have to switch over the laundry, but I don't feel like dealing with that on my bed just yet. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a workout and see if that doesn't make me feel a little better. It feels like we are back in winter hours. It just feels really early and... It's just pretty dark out. I'm just feeling like blah today. Like I don't want, I don't want it. I don't want it to be like this. But it is. So we're moving forward. And switching over laundry. Alex is now occupying all three of our laundry baskets. And has no time to put any of it away. So depending on my mood, we may or may not. Give him a hand. I don't even feel like putting my way my own laundry today. I feel like our living room has kind of gone weird because I've got Alex's bike and it's kind of like where I do a lot of my office stuff and I work out here and it's just some mishmash hodgepodge of a location. It's definitely where we both spend, I would say, most of our time. So it's a bit bit cramped for everything, but I think it's our favorite room in the house. I don't know what I've done with my workout. It always disappears on me. <sighs> Which now I'll find it online, hopefully. So this is what I do to locate it. Go to lwrfitness.com and then right here is April's workouts. And then I just click on it and go into the workouts. So it looks like today is full body workout, two rounds. You just click on it and it brings you to the YouTube page. And then you're good to go. Now I just had to restart my computer. So give me a little time to put on my shoes. That looks like two rounds of a hit workout. I'm going to try and remember, I'll put the link to the workout in the description bar below. If any of you guys are interested in trying any of these workouts for yourselves, they're pretty quick. They're um, kind of in general like whole body workouts, but I think they're pretty good and I enjoy doing them. If I can stick to them, which is kind of like my month of April wish to hope to do blah 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 is to do these workouts or do a workout every single day well every single like five days a week I don't do it on the weekends because with work it's just way too much so in the month of April I want to do it five days a week do my workout properly and then hopefully get into a habit and see how I feel and hopefully start to feel a little bit better so I just recorded an entire section and forgot to hit record. Beautiful. Glorious. Anyway, so as I was saying to absolutely nobody, we're going to make another Blue Apron for dinner because there's these mushrooms that I am fearing are going off. So the mushrooms go in an enchilada recipe and I feel like they sent us an accidental double because we have both of these. It says that it uses six ounces of mushrooms and I don't know if that's six or three or I don't know how much it says and how much we have but I feel like it's off. And I was also saying that I feel like today is just like a weird time warp because it's 730 but because it snowed outside it feels like it's 430. It's almost like it's winter again. It looks like winter again. So I'm just all kinds of screwed up. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. So 
in the recipe, you can see here there's like this amount of mushroom. And then here it says to only have a tablespoon of the spice blend. I have two portions and two portions. I'm now wondering if someone got screwed in theirs. Like, did we accidentally get two and someone else accidentally got none? I have no idea. But I can maybe pick around some of the mushrooms if some of them have gone off, I guess. So it's kind of fortunate. It's like they knew that we weren't going to be able to cook for a while. Mm -hmm. I didn't show you the during of this one, but I'll show you the after. It looks and smells so good. Okay, so the ridiculousness in this of how many times you're supposed to salt and pepper. Alex just found them all. Two, three, four. We always make a joke every time a Blue Apron says to salt and pepper something because it's it's it says it more than in just this one step. Like it says it. When you're cooking this, it says it twice when you're cooking the mushrooms, when you cook the spinach, it took the cook the rice in it. Like, salt and pepper is Blue Apron's game. Like, you need to kind of self-monitor, because otherwise you're just gonna be eating salt and pepper flavored with vegetables, kind of a thing. So dinner came out really good. Really good and really filling. The recipe was for three people. I think we could get two more lunch portions out of it. For dessert, um, last night my brother-in-law, Adam, got me birthday cake Oreos, and so I am going to have this as my dessert. We're going to watch some more TV, wind down and head to bed, and I will probably see you guys tomorrow.